Hey everybody, Quarter Jet Power here. Um, today's short video, I'm gonna show you how to replace or put in uh, main air bleeds. Every Quarter Jet has, well, almost every Quarter Jet has two sets of main air bleeds. You also have, uh, you also have some idle air bleeds. Uh, these bleeds will work and typically we use them for the main air bleeds um, the the Chevrolet truck quadra jets in the later years mid 70s uh, through mid 80s had a single main air bleed in the air horn and didn't have the upper and lower uh, air bleeds so what it <coughs> gosh I'm sorry what air bleeds do is allow air to come into the fuel mixture mixed with the fuel as it's passing through the body uh, to, to emulsify the, the fuel um, before it goes into the engine. Typically, you're gonna find two sets of main air bleeds. Hopefully you can see this, they're small. You have a set in the body, one on each side. You have a set in there, and then we have a set in the air horn, typically. Uh, and, and these are here. It's the, the holes right next to this to the hold down screw holes. These both have some bleeds in them. Uh, so to change these to make them a different size, because uh, uh, you can't make them smaller, uh, you can make them larger if you need to to allow more air that would make it leaner. Uh, sometimes we need to make them smaller or they're too large already. So I need to take these out. So we're going to start on the air horn first so i'm just going to do one on each one just to show you how easy it is to install the main air bleeds we do sell these these are little black brass bleeds um, we need to size them correctly for the application uh, we can help you with that and we sell the tools to size them as well the drill bit set i'm going to knock these out from the bottom side it won't take much just a little tap with a small punch. Don't even know what size it is. It's a 332nd punch. So This one didn't... Uh, here it is. So here's the old one. Took it out. The new one is tapered on one end. I'm gonna put it in from the top. A lot of the Chevrolet quarter jets starting in 1970, the passenger car versions uh, were this size. They didn't have a, they didn't have they didn't have the restriction in them, so. Um, a lot of those on performance builds we're going to add one so i'm going to use my pick tool i'm going to put it in the hole i'm going to put it I'm going to try I'm going to put it into the hole and just hold it in place and i can use the same punch i'm going to use a little bit bigger punch so I can knock it down square with the top. And there, hopefully you can see that. I've knocked the main air bleed into place to replace the other one so we can size that. We typically size them before we install them, uh, but now it's in place and, and we can adjust accordingly uh, for performance applications or to replace damaged ones, whatever you need to do. Uh, now we're going to go to the main body, show you the same thing on it. So the bleed's in place on this. I'm going to punch the bleed through. You can also use a screw and pull it out. I'm going to punch it through. And then I'm going to dump it out. So here is Here's the old one from, from this body. And so now we've got just the hole there, which is 
She's about a hundred and twenty thousandths the hole itself is. Same thing as air horn. I'm going to take the small bleed. I'm going to put it in place. This, these are a little bit trickier. I am going to use that 332nd punch. I'm going to punch it into place here so that it's square with the body. There. So now we've got now we've got a new main air bleed in place here so we can size that. So that's how we replace the, the main air bleeds. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you need the air bleeds, um, down channel restrictions, idle tubes, any of that, quadrajetpower.com is your place for everything you need for quadrajet parts. Thanks, y'all.